In this video, we're going to cover managing and editing product type and vendor for Shopify listings, both in bulk and individually. You'll see as we cover these two separate features that they do work identically. However, we'll demonstrate them separately so you can see each of them in action and point out a few important differences. So let's begin with product type. On top, we'll see our familiar bulk editor at the top, as well as individual dropdowns on each individual listing, making it easy for me to make changes to specific listings at the same time. In our case, we want to update the product type to properly identify these products as pillows. By clicking the bulk editor, all we need to do is find the appropriate product type, select it, and apply, and we've now successfully made that update to all of our selected listings. You'll also note that if I make an individual update, the Bella automatically deselects that listing from my other bulk edits to ensure that I don't overwrite my changes inappropriately. You'll also see on the leftmost menu, the green dot indicating that changes have been made and saved within Bella, but have not yet been synced. Before we sync our product type updates, let's take a look at Bender and make a few more edits to our listings. Once again, we see the same layout with the bulk editor on top, individual dropdowns next to each listing. Perhaps in our case, we want to add a new vendor that isn't listed already within our products, and that's nice and easy within Bella. You'll see at the bottom of this list that there's an easy operation where we can simply type the name of the new vendor. And in our case, in just a couple of clicks, we've created a new vendor, saved it, and applied it to all of our selected listings. Once we are happy with the changes we have made and saved within Bella, all we need to do is sync these changes to our shop. And in just a few moments, those changes are pushed to my Shopify shop and ready for action. So that's all you have to do to manage and update product type and vendor. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video.